The title of this video is The Carnivore Diet is a Fad. And it may actually be true, uh, depending on what you read. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And today, my title, like I said, is The Carnivore Diet is a Fad. And you'll read a lot of articles about that in other mainstream publications that say it is a fad. And I'm certain that a lot of big businesses, health biz companies, pharmaceuticals, doctors, and, and even um, food companies want you to believe that it's some sort of fad and it's unhealthy. And there are all these articles or studies that they have out there that are claiming that it's not good for you. You're not getting your nutrients and, you know, pssst, look at the, um, what do you call it? The vegans, are they uh, any healthier? Um, it's all, it all comes down to state of mind and I, I really think they, they want you to be sick and they're gonna tell you that carnivore diet is unhealthy and in some cases, depending on where you get your meat and how low you go, um, I, we're still fine with supermarket ground beef, but there's this huge, huge push for plant-based meat alternatives. They're everywhere, even burger, all the fast food places now sell fake the impossible burger uh, whopper and it's, it's the worst of all worlds because you can still get like a hundred grams of carbs in the bun and other ingredients and you're eating this meatless uh, hardly nutritious uh, fake meat that tastes like meat that bleeds like meat and they, they want you to eat that because it's it's just not good it's not good at all um, so that that's that that's really it um, they want you to be sick they really do. And so that's it. How do you handle the, uh, the fact that there's so much negative press on this carnivore diet? And I know people personally that have succeeded effortlessly on this new plan and they don't go back to eating the wrong way. I mean, everybody has mis makes mistakes along the way, uh, myself included. And I've been doing low carb, a form of low carb for nearly a decade and now I finally figured it out and, and I think next week I'm going to talk about some mistakes that you can make even when you're like really humming along on on the carnivore style uh, life plan but uh, don't let them trick you don't let them uh, con you into to thinking that you should be eating a whole diet with grains and, and veggies and fruits and all that because uh, Carnivores is where it's at. I mean, it, it's a lot of people suggest sometimes, oh, is, is it ever going to catch on mainstream? And I think it's it has a good chance of catching on mainstream. And I believe the big food producers also feel that that threat. And, and that's exactly why they have all those plant based uh, products and soy milk and, and almond milk and all these these non dairy, non animal related products sprouting up everywhere in a, in a big push. It's such a big push. And I, I don't know, I'm, I'm worried one day that the meat meats that we eat are gonna be, become harder to get um, or become tainted in some way. You know, I certainly will not buy any flavored meat. I, I think you may have seen some of these flavored meats they have at, they, they look just like a pack of ground beef, but they're at, all this crap is added to it. MSG and bad salt and just really bad, flavorings that probably make you eat more than you should and, and make you hungry for other things later on. They mess with your mind. Um, so I think it's time to find a local um, farmer that you can buy the meat and look at their cows ahead of time. And, and it may require a higher uh, investment because I'm getting good meats for you know three bucks a pound or less. And that's doing well for now, but I'm, I'm a little worried that it may not be around forever. So that's it. Uh, the carnivore diet is a fad. That's what they want you to believe. But if you stick with it, it's no fad. It's definitely no fad for me. Have a good week.